we had our own snap election last night in Georgia, and Democrats did not get the snap and awe they were looking for in the uh, first round of that voting. You had John Ossoff, the young Democratic candidate, who was the target of a flood of money coming in on his behalf in the district, as well as volunteers, $8 million raised. He was able to get 48% of the vote in a very divided field. That's pretty good, but not good enough to win that seat outright. You needed to get 50% of the vote. Uh, Donald Trump, who intervened in the race at the end with a robocall on behalf of Republican turnout, trying to dilute his vote share, and with a bunch of tweets attacking John Ossoff, the Democratic candidate, as a super liberal, uh, took credit last night. He said uh, this was a big win for Republicans. Uh, he was glad to uh, play a part in that. And for John Ossoff, who's just 30 years old, uh, who became the focus of all of the anti-Trump energy within the Democratic Party. This was a disappointment. He spoke to supporters last night, uh, said he was ready to fight on. And what fight on means is on June the 20th, he's going to face Karen Handel, who's a veteran Republican politician, not the most exciting Republican in the field. However, uh, she is going to find the Republican Party mobilizing very strongly behind her and we've got a real battle in the district that uh, has been represented by Republicans for 40 years. Newt Gingrich once held the 6th District. Tom Price, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Health and Human Services Secretary, won it easily uh, in 2016. But while this is a very Republican district, it's not a huge Trump district. He barely beat Hillary Clinton. So we're going to have a big fight on our hands uh, uh, and have to redo all of this hype again in uh, June, guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.